What's your scent of the day, scent of the night? What are you guys wearing while you're watching the video? I am playing around with Rogue Perforis. Dervici, Dervashi. I think I've had this on as the scent of the day before. I don't know. It's about my third wearing for it on this one. So I've been playing around with this house and a couple others. You, you see them featured on these. So I have to, I'm a day off of most likely this will film tomorrow. Who knows? But the day off of how I sample and whatnot. Today, I'm Brandon with Therapeutic Fragrance. Thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for finding the channel, channel for everyone. We are going to do, I've been wanting to do this house forever. We're working our way through this house. I will review all four of these. Crystal Rain by Rainier Perfumes. Stay tuned for it. Hey guys, Rainier Perfumes, Crystal Rain. So he's really playing off the rain two different ways. Rain's in his name, even though he spells it different. Rain, uh, all four perfumes so far named after rain. I'm okay with that. Uh, I think his house of cord justifies that to a T. Everything he's doing, it's an underrated house. Uh, right now, I want to give a shout out to Fragrance Apprentice. He's the first guy that I ever know in reviewing this house and actually brought it to my attention uh, months, a couple months ago now. Um, I never knew who the guy was until his Friday night. I don't know if you guys saw, there's a crazy video where this guy was basically got toasted on a Friday night live stream with some of my favorite reviewers. And I'm like, who the heck is this guy? No disrespect, but I'm like, this is just, because I respect all the other guys. Luckily, I respect the heck out of Peter and trust uh, his opinion in people. And he has, always has a high opinion of Fragrance Apprentice. So a week later, I end up like, okay, what was that guy's name? Go look at the video again. Oh, it's this guy look up his videos and then start going through them. I mean, he's done some good work for the fragrance community. I wish he'd come back and, and continue videos. Uh, he puts in a lot of time for, especially some of those reviews that he does. That's the kind of stuff. I mean, I wish I had the time and was a full-time videographer to actually go and put that much heart into it. A reason I haven't got to some full bottles, one is I'm learning compositions and whatnot. I've learn so much doing what I'm doing and how I have to go through stuff. That's one reason. The second is I really want to put an artistic touch on some of the perfumes I, I own. And it does, I did my best with Leonie's and even that took a few more hours than I'm used to. And it was like, just, you still, I have 40 other ideas and each idea is like an hour times 40, it's 40 hours. And I just, that's crazy for just reviews. But that's the kind of passion these perfumes uh, evoke. Credit to Fragrance Apprentice. You guys don't know him. I don't think he's done a new video in a while, but check out his old stuff. He's brought a ton to the community. Most of, somehow a lot of hardcore guys found me, so I'm sure you guys already know him. But new guys finding this video, he's a he's guy to go back and look at that, that really helped start this community. Let's move on to Crystal Rain by Rainier Perfumes. This is 140.49 <laughs> currently in the US. It's 125 euros. It's $140, 49 cents in the US conversion of today's video. Uh, 50 ml with that, uh, $15 shipping on the website. Not at all expensive for these perfumes at all. He's keeping it right under the $3 in ml. So, just keep that in mind. But he offers samples. I mean, the, the, the bottle, I got already showed it once. These are like eight mil bottles and he really does not upcharge for these at all. Ah, ooh. Almost had one of my famous drops. So, I mean, these are nice size bottles to get. I'm happy with them. Notes, head orange blossom, apple, bergamot, and thyme. Yummy. I love thyme. Body, cypress, cedar, and jasmine. The base, amber, leather, and ambergris. 
perfumer, the nose behind this is Daniel Hosier. Hosier, sorry for wrong pronunciation. I'll spell it right in the notes. 4.29 out of 5 on Fragranica. And they come in Eau de Parfum. Yep, EVPs on these. For me, this opens a bit like Leighton. It's got that Leighton feel to it without the Perfumes de Marley Accord. And, um, but that, that royal, just genius fruitiness opening that Leighton provides, the, the, this has a similar vibe right in the opening notes. Uh, the resemblance ends fast, and then you get into um, what Rainier is all about. We have a news flash here, and I'll try to might repeat it on all the other Rainier reviews. This he is. This is going to be the house that that Rainier built. He has his own aid going on, his own accord. It's new. I haven't smelt it before. I smelled similarities in other things, but it's its its own thing. He has an accord that all four have that they're built on. It's modern city, modern city, modern city what? Think of your high-end cities like a Vancouver, BC, um, tons of condos, tons of urban development, tons of biking, walking, Portland, what it's becoming. Uh, I'm sure your, your Londons, your Paris's, not the old vibe of Paris, but the new downtown, just this very modern still in glass and, and the rain coming kind of just metro vibe on this Accord. That's how I describe the Accord. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, we're, I know if you, you're on social, you're already hearing a lot about this guy, but I think there's a lot more to come. I think he's going to get some big distribution going on. Um, this is, it's, it's its own accord and we know what happens when houses do that. He's going to be able to put any notes he wants on this accord and they're going to sing. All right. I've said that about the accord, the rain aid. Let's, and, and try, try to define it by my nose the best that I could. That Metro city metal water that everybody's trying to do. And here he has a house accord built on it. So pick your favorite notes and then try a sample of it, and that's probably your bottle. That's that's how I buy from houses, one or two bottles. If you love the Accord, you pick your notes and then uh, get them. I mean, I love Tower so much, I have four bottles already. And I could see multiple bottles of this one for sure. Right at the beginning, a perfect fruit bouquet is displayed to your nose. Featuring green apple with squeezed bergamot and orange blossoms decorating the top of it in a nice presentation, drizzled by honey, you know, the honey stick, honey just dripping on that with, uh, you go to your herb garden, you pick the sprig of thyme, you take that sprig and take your finger and just crush all those leaves on there. That's what you have in the opening. It's, it's a beautiful opening. If you're into those notes, it's a must check out for the opening alone. We'll get to the dry down though. Opening on this is awesome. I wish the dry down would be the same as the other three. Fortunately, it's not, but this opening is awesome and royal. It is good, good opening. After about 30 minutes, it doesn't take you long to realize you're under a cypress tree with a wood bench uh, sitting there. You go to that wood bench, you sit down, and all of a sudden it's a clearing. And it, it's one of those when on your hike, the bench has an overlook, you're overlooking the ocean, a breeze is coming back to you, that nice ocean salt air breeze is coming back to you, the amber grease starts to hit you, the wood from the bench and that cypress falls down on your nose, all of that is there in the heart. Beautiful heart, the top transitions right into that. You literally get the fruit bouquet and the heart. If you seriously get all those notes that I described in those transitions, this guy is doing some good, good stuff in there. We're about two hours in. It famous hit a soap hits me. If you guys follow the channel, you know where I'm going. Is it gonna blow up or not? I'm like, this is Rainier, the other three haven't blown up, it won't. And um, 
about a half hour in, soap just starts taking over and over and over. And sure enough, <laughs> thank God for samples. Uh, I'm so glad I was able to try out four. This would have been the first one. I probably want to try it another from the house at those prices. This was the last one I tried. And I mean, with that top and heart, it was like, this might be my favorite of all until the soap. This was the normal soap that comes and takes over every note on my skin. And it, it's literally like having the, the thickest of soap washing your hands. And that's, you just smell that for the next, this was like five to seven hours or, or even longer than, than um, like the other ones. It's definitely a, a synthetic that does it on my skin chemistry, unfortunately. Scoring I have for Crystal Rain, a Dick Nipson OG Factor, 12 out of 15. Projection Siage, four out of five. Longevity, four out of five. Composition, 20 out of 25. Ingredients and priced ML, 20 out of 25. Top heart and base, top 10 out of 10. Heart, three out of five. And then that base, because the heart phased into that soap, little knock there. Um, I almost want to give it five out of five. Three out of five, we'll keep it. The um, base, this is where I have to knock it. You probably, if you guys that like the fresh scents, this might be a stellar fragrance for you. One out of 10 for me on this one. Oh, if it didn't get soapy. Clear the 80 mark, but we're, we're, we're there. 73, decan it. You guys try it out. I see this as somebody's signature scent for sure. All year long, this is acceptable to wear. Who I see wearing this one? Phoebe from Friends. How many sprays? Three to five. That's what I got, guys, for Rainier, Crystal Rain. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out. Be blessed.